Breaking news, key decisions in the Freddie Gray case. All six officers appear before a judge at issue whether their statements can be used in court. WJZ is live at Courthouse East. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren with a judge's ruling just moments ago. Mike? Vic, all six of those officers sat shoulder to shoulder in the third row, listening intently to every moment, and they got some bad news today. Moments ago, the judge ruled that statements by Officer William Porter will be admissible at trial, and earlier today, he ruled that statements by Sergeant Alicia White will also be admissible, that both people knew what they were doing. Sergeant Alicia White never wanted a jury to hear the two videotape statements she made about Freddie Gray's fateful ride through Baltimore. But in a victory for prosecutors, the judge ruled they are admissible. Legal analyst Warren Alperstein. They're coming in. Now, the law says that a jury, the trier of fact, can ultimately decide whether or not these statements were voluntarily given. White made both statements to police investigators before Gray's death. And according to sources, they contain conflicting information about whether she knew he needed medical help. Her lawyer said she was never read her rights before giving the first statement, and that she was tricked into waiving her Miranda rights and the law enforcement officer's Bill of Rights before the second statement. In White's case, the judge found both statements were voluntary, that she was never threatened with the loss of her job and never locked in a room to make them. Today, the judge is hearing arguments on the admissibility of four of the other officers' statements as well. The only one who never spoke was Caesar Goodson, the van's driver, who faces the most serious charge of all. Anytime statements are made that are perceived to be um, troublesome to them, um, you want to exclude them. So the judgment is meticulously going through each officer's arguments. So far, two of them, as we've said, will have their, ar their arguments, their statements admissible at trial. The other three, we have to wait on rulings for that. And these hearings continue tomorrow. Vic? Mike, thank you. Stay with WJC for complete coverage. We will keep you updated on any decisions in these motions hearings.